even though I know better, when I think of a factory, I still have early 20th century black and white visions of Charlie Chaplin or Lucille Ball at a conveyor belt, you know, doing things for an unfeeling boss. But um, the factories that make our smartphones are different. They're less comedic, obviously, but they're also just more 21st century-like. Uh, these next videos, we're going to see some of the factories in China where iPhones are made. Uh, each video is short, but I think having a few different perspectives, even if they're talking about the same thing, is important. We see these places portrayed by a couple of outsider journalist uh, types, and also from the point of view of an NYU grad student who worked in one. For the live version of this playlist, um, we did some salary comparisons, we talked about um, how crappy it is to be a migrant worker in China, because that isn't really touched on very much uh, here. We also didn't really get into uh, here in the videos why electronics are built this way. And the answer probably has more to it than a simple comparison of wages, um, because globalized capitalism is a huge complicating force that these news organizations are also in in complicit with. But yes, let's get on with it. These phones are not going to build themselves.